Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we are going to go over how to program a Z-Wave device to your Quosis IQ Panel 4. This is going to be used for home automation devices such as lights, locks, thermostats, and devices similar to those. Uh, this is not meant for security sensors or life safety devices, so no door, uh, door sensors, no smoke detectors, no motion sensors or anything like that. Uh, just home automation devices, so non-security essential devices. Today we're going to be programming a Z-Wave light to the panel and then test it from the panel as well, just to ensure it's working and that connection is uh, strong enough. Okay, so we have our Quosis panel here. Uh, and the Z-Wave device we're going to be pairing today is a smart switch, a JASCO uh, Z-Wave smart switch. And right here is called the uh, function button, uh, which we're going to see show up on the screen here in a bit. This is how you're going to get the device to pair to the Quosis panel. So first things first, I'm going to plug in our smart switch. Okay. And let's go ahead and get this paired. So to start, we're going to go to the gray bar at the top. We're going to go into settings, advanced settings. Enter user code. We're going to enter the installer code. We haven't changed ours, so it's still set to the default of 1111. We're going to go to installation, devices, and then Z-Wave devices. Uh, so a good common practice for Z-Wave is to clear the device or perform an exclusion uh, before we try to include or pair this with the panel. Even if you have a brand new device, this is always something good to follow. It makes the connection process much easier. So we'll go to clear device. It's going to ask us to press that function key or the learn button that we saw earlier. Device is cleared from the network successfully. Perfect. So I press the function key on the plug while it's plugged in. When I did that, it activated the switch, which then turned on our light, and we now have this cleared. All right, so I'm gonna turn that back off. We're gonna go to add device now. We're gonna press include at the bottom. And then same exact thing, we're gonna press the function key on the switch. That turned on our light again. And we have it learned into the panel. Uh, so again, the device that you're going to be using, they're going to have different function keys or processes of getting that to start. So just make sure you check whatever guides come with the device to review that. Uh, so right here, we have options to name the device, uh, what type of device it is, name again, automation. So everything here is looking pretty good. It's just a light we're just going to be testing here, so we don't have to change much about this. Light is added to network successfully. The light is added. Perfect. So now what we'll do is we'll go back to the home screen. And then when you have Z-Wave devices paired to the Quosis uh, IQ Panel 4, you can access that from the main screen. So to do that, we are going to swipe. See right here we have the light. Right now it's showing on. So let's select and let's turn the light off. As you see, our light's now off. We're going to select it again, turn it on, and then we have it on. And again, very fast signal. Of course, we're pretty close, so that signal is going to pre, uh, be pretty much almost instant. Uh, if you have devices further away, uh, that connection can slow down a bit, but you can also set up other Z-Wave devices in between the two to create a sort of mesh network to get that device uh, communicating a little bit faster. So once again, let's just turn this light back off. Perfect. So uh, that's essentially it. We have our light paired to our Quosis panel. Okay, so we got the Z-Wave light programmed to our Quosis panel. Uh, we tested it, made sure the light turned on and off when we sent the command from the panel and everything seemed to work out fine. Uh, if you did like the video, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon to be notified when we release more content. Uh, if you did have any questions for us as well, feel, feel free to call us. Our contact number is 888-818-7728. And you can also reach us by email. The email address is support at alarmgrid.com. Once again, my name is Dylan, and thank you for watching.